What's good YouTube, Akil here, back with another video. And today I got a brand new trip to the thrift for you guys because like I said, I'm back in town and I'm gonna be hitting up these thrift stores as much as possible, at least for the next few weeks until the baby gets here. So like I said before, make sure that you guys hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, it definitely helps me out. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so I had to check out the clothing section first here, and I came up on this Detroit Tigers jersey, and this jersey was in really good shape. No flaws, no tears or anything like that, and it was from Majestic. It's I think it said Diamond Collection on here, but I was so used to seeing Diamond Collection by Starter, so I guess that's just more of a vintage piece. As you guys can see, it said Made in USA, and after checking the comps briefly, somebody had this listed for 100 bucks. And when I checked the sales, uh, seen somebody took a best offer for 40 bucks. So we'll see how that one does. I'll probably price mine closer to 40 or 50. So checked out the games and came up on this Need for Speed Most Wanted game for the 360. And surprisingly, this game is selling for like 30 bucks, sometimes even 40. So I'm definitely grabbing that one up. And then there were just a few Wii games here. It mainly looks like maybe some kid games or something but they were all 129 definitely not selling for a ton of money individually but what i usually do with wii games if i can get them for a dollar or two i usually would just buy the wii games and use it and just bundle it up with the console itself especially since i find so many wii consoles here in arizona so next up decided to hit the shoe section and i came up on a pair of these anu hiking boots and i used to come across these pretty often back in cali i know anu tiva and ug was all under the same umbrella I believe that was called Decker's brand and these should sell for right around 40 maybe 45 bucks it'll probably bring in a little more during the fall and winter but I'll just price mine to sell uh, sooner than later next came across this pair of Rockports and I usually don't pick up Rockport shoes but these were in really good condition and this Pro Walker model um, was selling for surprisingly like 50 to 60 bucks I was definitely surprised when I seen that I know anytime I see shoes with that Vibram sole it always adds a little bit of value to it as well so in this condition I'm still going to clean it up a little bit but I'm definitely grabbing those up and next was this pair of Echo shoes for women they had it in the men's section but this shoe in my opinion was just really nice I wouldn't be like if it was my size I probably would have been able to rock these but like I said it's a woman's shoe and they were asking like 25 bucks for these which is kind of pricey especially for Echo so i ended up passing on these but it definitely grabbed my attention um i definitely sell echo shoes in the past but i'm definitely not going to spend 25 bucks next was this pair of allen edmund shoes and i've been picking these up pretty often they're not moving as fast as they used to but i'm kind of just still grabbing these up hoping that the prices would start to go back up especially when people start going back to work so even though allen edmonds aren't selling uh, as fast as i would like it to i think it's still worth grabbing those up and here was a pair of boots. Uh, these are just some army boots. I thought they were the Nike SFBs, but they definitely weren't. So I ended up just putting those back. But overall, nice group of shoes right there. And then I ended up coming across this pair of Jordan 9 Fusions. And these were in pretty rough shape. They definitely had some signs of wear on here, but nothing too terrible. Nothing that I probably still can't be able to sell these for. Surprisingly, if these were in better condition, you could probably get maybe 80, even close to 100 bucks. In this condition, these will probably sell closer to 50 bucks for these so they were asking like 25 bucks for these shoes as you guys can see i'm already dropping them but they're asking 20 bucks for these so for that reason i ended up passing on them only because they were a little too pricey especially for this condition but if it was in better shape i would have definitely grabbed that up uh, next came up on this ps4 guitar hero guitar and this is my first time finding one of these because as you guys know i sell a ton of these guitar hero guitars and they usually sell for anywhere between maybe 40 to as high as 80 bucks that's the most i've ever um got for one of these type of guitars but since this one is for the ps4 these are selling for well over 100 bucks some are selling for 150 140 and i just wanted to look under the battery cover to see if it was any signs of battery acid or any like battery explosions but it was in really good shape so i'm definitely grabbing that one up super excited about that find so went to a different Goodwill and came up on a bunch of shoes here. So first off was this pair of NMDs. I think these are the NMD R1s or maybe the R2. Whatever it was, it was in a size 11 and a half. 
and pretty good shape i'm still gonna have to clean these up because the midsole was pretty dirty on this and the uppers were pretty dirty as well but overall not in terrible shape the midsole wasn't too yellow so i can definitely get away with that and next to that was a pair of ultra running shoes i love picking up this brand especially when they're in good shape because i usually sell these for anywhere between 50 to 60 bucks and they sell pretty quickly so hopefully these move pretty fast as well but as you guys can see these shoes are probably worn maybe once or twice if maybe worn once and not for a long amount of time so definitely grabbing that up then i found another pair of these adidas nmds and these were in similar condition i guess they were priced these a little cheaper just a dollar less than the other pair so i'm also gonna have to clean these up as well but these are in pretty good shape no yellowing or no tears in the uppers which is pretty common for any time i find nmds they usually have a hole up top so definitely gonna be grabbing that pair up and this was my favorite find of the day in terms of shoes when I came up on all these shoes. A pair of Romelios, and these are just like weightlifting shoes. I guess you can call them squat shoes. Um, I was looking for a pair of these for myself for a very long time, and I got super, super lucky that these actually were in my size, size 11. I was kind of nervous about these because people said they run kind of small, but once I tried them on in store, they fit me perfectly. So I'm absolutely keeping this pair. I haven't I've been wearing these other Adidas uh, weightlifting shoes for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and swap those out. Uh, next came up on this other pair of Nikes, and these were like that eggplant, almost like that foam posit eggplant colorway, really dope in my opinion. Uh, the colorway that is these shoes after checking the comps people had these listed really high some people were asking 100 150 and then once i checked the sales i only seen them sell for right around 30 bucks and they were selling for they, this goodwill was asking like 40 bucks so for that reason i had to pass on that didn't make any sense so I went to a different Goodwill here and came up on this holster. And I've been selling these pretty often. I don't find them every day, but of course, being out here in Arizona, this is the type of stuff I'm going to be coming across pretty often now. So definitely sold maybe five or six in the last two months. And this one surprisingly already sold. So definitely happy about that one. So next came up on this pair of Gators, uh, Florida Gators basketball shorts. Um, I actually picked up a pair of shorts from Syracuse, the Syracuse basketball team. Those I'm selling those for 200 bucks. I've been getting some, you know, some traction on those, but this pair in particular isn't as in good condition. It's even missing the drawstring on the inside. But anytime I see Nike team shorts, I know those are usually vintage, a little older. But this pair of shorts in particular in this condition probably get somewhere between 40 maybe 50 bucks but then again might be shooting a little too high so i still grab them up i'll probably get maybe closer to 30 to 40 bucks for those honestly and next came up on another pair of shorts these actually said nike track and field and this is actually my size once again but i'm most likely going to sell these because honestly i don't need any more clothes i'm already going to be keeping a couple things from this video so no need to be keeping these i'll probably sell these for closer to 20 to 25 bucks for that and here was a pair of Aston Gray dress shoes. These shoes, you can usually find these in places like DSW. So I'm not going to say these are super high quality, but I've sold a few pairs of these in the past. Um, this one in particular, I'm most likely going to pass on this one. No, $7.99. The comps are closer to maybe $30 bucks if you're lucky. And as we all know, dress shoes aren't selling that fast. So something like that is going to sit in my inventory for a long time. And here was a pair of, I believe these are Metcons. I didn't see Metcon written anywhere on these, but pretty sure this was a pair of Metcons. Once again, $8 for these. And I have a couple pairs of Metcons in my inventory right now, and they've been sitting for at least six months. So for that reason, I'm definitely going to pass on these because I don't, I'm trying to avoid picking up shoes that's going to sit around forever. And this is my first time finding this brand. This brand is called Android Home. And this is one of those designer brands that the retail price is pretty high. It retails for like 300 bucks but in terms of resale you'd be lucky to get maybe 60 to 70 bucks for these these shoes in this condition i'm definitely going to clean it up and i should be able to get maybe 50 bucks for these definitely not super popular or anything but i think for the first time you finding these i'm going to go ahead and take a chance on them for eight bucks all right y'all so we are back in the crib and i actually threw these shoes in the washing machine just to clean them up a little bit and the midsole is still kind of dirty but the uppers are in much better shape i literally just threw these shoes in the washer as is didn't even try 
try to unlace them or anything so it cleaned them up a little bit i might still need to kind of scrub up the midsole just a little bit to make them look a little more appealing for buyers but other than that these shoes came out pretty good and this i was definitely impressed i should have did like a before and after with these these shoes on the bottom were just completely covered in mud and the uppers were really really dirty and muddy as well and once these came out of the washing machine these came out really really nice and clean a pair of hokas that i usually wouldn't have picked up because of the condition but i tell you guys all the time i don't find these as often as i used to so i decided to take a chance on them i think i spent five bucks on these and they clean up really nice so i should be able to sell these for maybe 60 to 70 bucks and here's a pair of cole hans these were also pretty dirty the uppers were really really messed up on these i think i spent four or five bucks on these as well and i just threw these in the washing machine same thing and these came out looking pretty good so i'm definitely happy about that and these should sell for maybe 40 maybe 50 bucks probably closer to 40 because i know these cole Haan, these grand os's don't do as well as they used to but for five bucks i had to take a chance on it and i'm glad i did and last but certainly not least this is another pair of nmds these were both the same size they're both 11 and a half threw this in the washing machine just with all these other shoes here as well and these cleaned up really nicely these weren't too bad the uppers did have some stains but i'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol and kind of clean up the midsole a little bit here as well once again just to make it more appealing but these shoes do run kind of small just in case anybody was wondering or if you guys may you know get those random questions from buyers they always ask well, how do the shoes fit Bruh. these do run kind of small so 11 and a half these fit me perfectly so maybe about a half size small so just keep that in mind as well in case you guys come up on any of those and you get a random question like that but overall people always ask me how i clean shoes for the most part i just throw them in the washing machine i never had any problems or any issues but if i do have some time i just go ahead and just use some rubbing alcohol and clean the shoes up that way and that usually just does the trick all right y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace for the winner, cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the winner, mood just to keep from cooling. Like only for the winner, only for the winner, only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold, and I'm too cool to sweat it. I should've never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit.